Hey guys, welcome to the new version of Wikilive 1.57. In this version, I'll show you some of the new features that have been added, uh, and hope you guys enjoy what's been added to the new features. So, I'll just go through and do a search. Um, I'll pick a search topic. Here we go, NASA again. So, your phone right now is doing a query on NASA, and it's obviously picked up quite a few things here. So, I'll click on NASA, and as you, as you know, Wikilive is actually a real-time search platform that runs directly out of your phone. So here is a Wikipedia page on NASA. If we click the Wikilive button on the left hand corner, you'll see the real live results that have come through uh, as a result of the exploration that your phone has done with the page and various other pages with Wikipedia. Um, and obviously you can select any of those search items that have come through. Uh, instead of going through the whole page and trying to decipher what's there and trying to work through it all and opening up tabs, etc., you can simply click on the Wikilive page, get all that and a lot more details that you normally wouldn't find all in one view, and here you are. Um, so with Wikilive, you'll see that um, there are quite a number of tabs on the bottom, and you'll see that the Wiki page topics, which is this one here, simply is a cut-down version of a query that you would do to Wikipedia instead of opening up every specific page on that search topic that you've done. So an example here, if I click on space flight, um, I'll get through a synopsis of what's come through from Wikipedia, and then if I wanted to explore that, I can simply just click on more and you will then open the appropriate page relating to the search topic and once again you will then be able to click on the wiki live button and have the results relating to that search that you've just done. Another key thing of course is the, the more button on the right hand side that will simply show you all the tools um, that have been added extra which is simply in this case here are the live up to the second results from, from uh, obviously sites like um, Twitter and uh, more relevant results that you'll find um, as a result of what you're trying to find with your search term that's out of Wikipedia. Once again, we'll go to the next tab, Wikitext. Wikitext is a snapshot of the extraction that's come out of the wiki page site. So if you're looking at reading the whole text or looking at copying the text and perhaps reading it later on, you can simply click on the Wikitext and then click on Share and that is now in your inbox which you can now email yourself or um, text somebody or whatever it might be to share the content from Wikipedia. The image tab at the bottom is self-explanatory. You will just simply go through there and see what images are related to the search topics that you've just gone through and searched on, which is obviously quite appealing to some users. The Twitter tab is obviously um, specifically designed, as, as it says, specifically for Twitter. So this, the, the, the search we've just done on spaceflight is giving us the latest results out of Twitter directly um, from your phone um, talking to Twitter. YouTube is the same sort of thing. You'll click on YouTube and you'll get the space flight details uh, with videos relevant to the search term. We've also added in this case the Google, the Google tab to give you Google reference points as a result of what you're doing. Now the reason why this has been done is to really enhance um, your experience with Google uh, and we believe by doing so you'll get a, a, perhaps a, a, a better experience than just using Google alone and we'll, give it, we'll demonstrate that to you now. For example, if I was to go back to the tabs here and look at my wiki browser this is obviously what I've got here. If I look on all the relevant results, they're all here. But quite often you might say, hey, you know, this, in this case here, there's over 300 results on this page here. I really want to explore each of those results, and not, I don't really want to remember them all, but I want to choose which results I want to have, and then perhaps click them on and, and go through and open up the specific pages. So what you can do is you can simply just go to Google, the tab, click on Wikilive, and say, well, tell me more about space, space exploration. You click on the space exploration, and here you are, you'll get the space exploration, um, which is obviously Wikipedia from Google, which will reference the same site, and other reference material that's come up from other sites that Google has obviously indexed. So, as you know, Wikilive um, does not use any indexes at all. It simply re relies on what's currently out there from the internet, and um, does your, your phone does all the, the fetching and all the real-time crawling that exists. So, you can use this specific tool to simply surf the web, explore the internet at the same time to see what's out there and actually really get really in-depth results that you normally perhaps would not find um, looking at it you know, just on a day-to-day -day basis with a normal browser um, or a normal uh, application just to look at a specific site. So what we've really done here is effectively brought it all into one. So if I wanted to look at, for example, say, you know, human space flight, or in this case here, um, obviously look at the wiki page, it's all here, and I can simply just go through it all. So for example, this particular, um, you know, this particular rocket looks like, We'll click on that um, and here we are but we can still go back to the other tabs that were open and they're specific to what it is with a new search term that's now put into there and we can simply go okay tell me more about this one here and we'll get more about that one there but bear in mind 
all the all the same time your phone is doing all the crawling and all the searching in real time specifically in, 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 your, in your control um, and the great thing you can go to YouTube of course and you can obviously watch some videos you know specifically to um, the search term that you're looking at and it's effectively one click away so everything that we do is effectively just one click away from where you are in terms of searching exploring exploring the internet and really getting the most that you can while you actually are searching on a search topic so there are some other features that have also been added to this version um, but they're the main features and we look forward to the next version um, that you have of Wikilive and also just another thing I guess that we just want to highlight if you do do a search and you do effectively go back into the search box and you see all these buttons here and you see where it's got the related button if you actually hold down the related button sorry if you hold down the related button you actually will get a box like this which will show all the related topics specifically to the search term in that box which does a real-time analysis of what you're trying to search so if I then go say okay tell me more about you know uh, for example this thing here could be space history um, obviously it's there and at the same time the, the phone is actually going through and putting all those results that are live specifically for um, the, the search term that you're looking at and then obviously to the second so your phone is actually querying everything on, on, the, on the fly and it's pulling data in real time and it's doing all the searching uh, as you would expect to um, right to the moment that you've got so thanks again and uh, yeah we hope you enjoy uh, this version of wiki live